Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite parts of the farm, why you should have a rooster. Everyone wants hens because they want lots of these, but there's many reasons to have the boys around. Roosters will fertilize the hen's eggs so you can hatch your own chicks, but also don't worry that you're going to have unwanted chicks because the hen must sit on the egg for a long period of time for them to even start to develop. So don't worry about, you can eat fertilized eggs. Fertilized eggs are just as edible. They taste just the same as unfertilized eggs. And you are not going to have any chicks developing unless you let the hen sit. So don't worry about having fertilized eggs. Roosters are going to alert your flock when they see an aerial predator. While all their hens are grazing and foraging, they're going to keep their eye out. And if they see a hawk or a raven or something in the sky that worries them, even an airplane, they're going to sound their little alarm and then everyone hits the deck. All the hens run and hide for cover under like foliage, a tree, go back in their coop, but roosters really let them know and they listen. <laughs> Another endearing quality of a roo is their tidbitting. They uh, actually let the hens know when they find a snack. They're selfless gentlemen. Well, if they're a good rooster, they are. If they see a big grub, a snack, or something, they will sound another kind of alarm, and all the hens will come and eat whatever they found. They usually do not eat the little snack that they found for their ladies. Before you consider raising a rooster, make sure you know your local laws and your zoning that you're allowed to have one, because nobody wants to rehome a pet once they already have said pet. So make sure you allowed to have one and if you're worried about noise roosters crowing are no louder than the hens cackling when they laid an egg or your neighbor's dog barking I can't wait till we live in a world where roosters are allowed to exist and everyone's allowed to have one because I love the sound of a rooster crowing and then you get used to them and you learn to love it too and it's no more bothersome than a dog barking a lot of times when you're raising baby chicks you'll end up with a rooster and people just want to instantly rehome them but boys need love too you should give them a chance roosters actually end up making some of the best pets they can be the most dog-like in the flock some of our roosters follow us everywhere like puppies they're super friendly they're literally like our backyard dogs and they deserve so much love and respect they add so much beauty, personality, laughs to your life. And if you do end up with multiple roosters, make sure you do have enough hens for them. You may be worried that your rooster may become mean because that is something I'm sure you heard of, but not every rooster is mean. Just like people, all personalities differ and bad behavior can be sort of instilled in the beginning in their youth and then kept going on. They can go through a teenage hormonal stage where they can get a lot of hormones raging and they may, you may see some signs of that aggression, but that doesn't mean that they're a mean rooster and a lot of times they grow out of that stage and with some proper behaviors checked early on, they can go on to be the sweetest roo that will never attack you or your children. If you do have small children, I recommend keeping an eye out around them, around your flock. Make sure that they know how to properly be around a rooster. They are an animal that deserves respect and their job is protecting their ladies. So sometimes they can think that children are threats because of their size and because of their energy levels. So make sure the child has learned how to respect and be around a rooster. They don't like if you chase the hens. They don't like if you make the hens squawk. They can think that that is a danger. So if your child loves to run and chase the chickens and grab them that may make the rooster think that they're a threat teach your children to be sweet around the hens be calm look watch the rooster know where he is never turn your back to them don't make sudden movements and do not just grab the hens and make them scream is this a baby is this a sweet baby this is the baby weens winston are you trying to lay an egg back here buddy Winston used to be Winifred, and then when he turned into a rooster, he became Winston. <laughs> we raised him from a baby chick, yeah. But I, boy, you, I don't think you're gonna lay an egg. What are you trying to do there, buddy? I don't think that's gonna work out. Are you silly? Very. Sometimes the boys will try to make nests for their ladies. They'll make a little cozy corner for them and call them saying, hey, here's a place to lay your egg. And the roosters will call the hens in at night to go roost and go to sleep. Look at this silly guy. This is our Mr. Sweeney Todd. And yes, it's a rooster. <laughs> He's a showgirl rooster. 
And then some roosters like Aussie here, it could be all entirely black. He's an Ayamsamani. It's an Indonesian breed where they got black wattles or the black comb, black mouth, black feathers, black skin, black toes, black everything. So he's our little prince of darkness, Aussie right here. He's got his new feathers coming in from his molt right there. Looks like he's growing grays, but that's just the new feather casings. <laughs> And some of them can be teeny tiny, like Mr. Freckles here. He's a little Bantam rooster. He's a Milfleur du Clay, and he's a little guy, but he's full of personality. He's a sweet boy, and he's crazy sometimes when I put him down. He likes to act tough for his ladies, like nothing ever happened. He's my little boy. He's everything. Or if you like your men curly, like Mr. Ron Weasley here. I hope you guys give roosters a chance. A lot of them need good homes. I hope this encouraged you to want to keep a rooster. We thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see you next week. Bye.